everyone, it's me, Maureen, Maureen's Country Life. It's a rainy day today, but I want to show you uh, how to plant sweet potatoes. A few weeks ago or a month ago, uh, one of my subscribers, I wasn't sure, was it on Facebook or YouTube anyway, asked me how I plant my sweet potatoes. And today I'm going to show you how I do my uh, sweet potato planting. I have here a sweet potato. You can buy a store-bought sweet potato. You can go to an international store or whatever variety of sweet potatoes you want to plant. You make sure that you soak it in water at first. You don't want the roots to dry up because when you plant sweet potatoes, the root itself is your starter, okay? And from there, you can grow your slips and your slips will become your separate plants. So each of these will become an individual plant. So I have here, this is this is the white, white flesh sweet potato, but the outside is pinkish orange. This is the Asian sweet potato. I got this at an international market, which I like. I actually, because I'm a Filipino, I prefer the Asian kind sweet potato. I do like other sweet potatoes. I like purple sweet potato as well. I like purple. I also like um, orange sweet potato, which is the typical American orange yam but I like eating purple sweet potato and the Asian sweet potato so I have these what I did is I just let these soak in water I have water here in this container and I just let the half of it like that and some people are more more artistic they put like sticks they put sticks I don't do that I just put water and let half of the sweet potato soak that way it has uh, hydration and then after a few weeks i actually did this like in april april may june so two months you will see lots of uh, you will see lots of slips so you don't even have to put them in soil but i also my other way of planting is to bury the whole thing in a pot so i have a pot here and i planted the sweet potatoes inside here with soil this one here is my purple sweet potato. I put two in here and now it's got many slips. So even with just two sweet potatoes, you can have lots and lots of slips. So you don't have to worry. You just go to maybe Walmart, Kroger. If you buy, if you buy a sweet potato that you like, sweet potato that's orange yam, purple yam, just do it. And it may take a while for it to sprout or to make shoots or slips because Sometimes they spray it with something retardant to prevent the root crops like sweet potato to sprout quicker. So that's another thing. Uh, that's why if you want to eat these kind of sweet potatoes, you need to scrub them really good and wash them really good. If you must, you need to, sh you need to soak them with vinegar and salt. If you want to cook these sweet potatoes, the store-bought sweet potatoes, uh, with skin on so that way it's really clean because we don't know what they spray on it It's a growth retardant. But anyway, so here's another way that you can start your sweet potato slips Planting it or burying it in soil just like you're planting a regular plant and once you see the slips you separate the slips and Then you can plant individual sweet potatoes from here you can have a lot of sweet potatoes and you can also soak it just like what I'm showing you here and from here you can plant individual sweet potatoes okay and i'm gonna show you how i plant my sweet potatoes today i'm going to plant my sweet potatoes i have four different sweet potato varieties here i planted them middle part of april no second part of april about second week of april so i planted the the sweet potato root or the tuber and i let them grow in containers and after four or five weeks this is uh what they have so as they have more slips and then you can transfer you can plant the slips you just have to separate the slips and you have lots and lots of sweet potatoes i have i have yellow the regular orange yam i have the regular orange yam i have the purple sweet potato i have the asian white sweet potato with pink skin and i have a sweet potato with white skin and white flesh so i have four different varieties that i need to plant on this side here this is where i'm going to plant all the sweet potatoes so to start planting sweet potatoes i have a 
one of my subscribers on my YouTube channel, or I think it's on my Facebook page, asked me how to start sweet potato, how to start planting sweet potato. I'm going to uproot this here. I'm going to pull this out from here. This is what it looks like. You see it's root bound. This is what they look, what it looks like. I planted them in this container around second week of April. I planted like three here. And this is what they have. See? In one sweet potato, you have several slips, like quite a lot. So all you have to do is fold slips like that. And you plant one each or two each, depending on the size of the, sh the slips. If, this, if you don't have a lot, then you can. Uh, if you have limited, then you can just plant one each. But if you have a lot, you can plant two. Two each of two slips like this, because this is a little small like this then you can plant two uh, since I have a lot so I may have to give these away and this this is my purple sweet potato here I have so purple sweet potato is a uh, ha, always have good yield good production so I have these here see and because this one is not completely uh, rotten it's not rotten yet it can I can you can still grow this you can put this back in the pot right here after you pull this out once you pull this out here this you see the roots the roots are root bound so if you want to plant this and have some more shoots have some more slips then just bury it again like that and put more soil and then you water it and then it will grow more slips that's pretty much it that's it now these these are what you're going to plant let's see here this is a sweet, purple sweet potato it, I like one thing I like about purple sweet potato it keeps longer the storage the storage it's really good. It stores really good. It stores really well. Unlike the white and the orange yam. There you go. And you just water this and then you'll have more slips. If you don't want to plant the these slips to for sweet potato roots, you can eat the the tops. This one here. They're re really good. You can blanch them or you can put them in your soup. You can mix them in your salad. It's really good for you. Now it's time for planting. To plant sweet potatoes, you must cultivate the soil really well. It likes well-draining and loose soil. It is best to add organic matter before planting to help enrich the soil. A few common fertilizers for sweet potatoes are the balanced application of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And sweet potatoes grow best with a soil pH between 5 and 6. And if soil is heavy with clay, adding rich organic matter like compost, leaves and grass clipping will help loosen the soil and improve drainage. When planting sweet potatoes, dig a hole at least 6 inches deep, separate the slips and bury one or two slips per hole, with root side down into the hole. Make a cone shape by healing up around the plant. And it is best to have your soil tested so you know what amendments your soil need for optimum plant growth and quality yield. Sweet potato plants that produce lush foliage or leaves but yield few roots have been over-fertilized with nitrogen. But too little nitrogen fertilizer will also result in a lackluster harvest. But make sure that you avoid fertilizers with higher amounts of nitrogen but you don't use manure because of the risk of disease infection. One more thing, sweet potatoes grown in soil deficient of boron will develop a blister disorder that causes stunted plant growth and raised bumps to form on the root surface. Blisters can be prevented by adding borax to the soil. As you can see on my sweet potato plants, I planted them at least a foot and a half to two feet distance between each plant. Sweet potato is easy to grow, low maintenance, it likes full sun, but make sure that it gets good amount of water throughout the week. While waiting for the sweet potato roots, you can also enjoy the sweet potato tops, the young leaves. You can eat them in soup, salad, or stir-fry. 
You can harvest the sweet potato roots after 100 days after transplanting or about 4 to 5 months. When some leaves start to turn yellow and right after they produce flowers. If you live in four season countries, harvest them before the first frost. I can't wait to harvest sweet potato tops and roots. I hope this video is helpful to you. To those of you that like sweet potatoes, don't worry. It's so easy to plant sweet potatoes. And guess what? If you don't get big roots or sweet potatoes, you can eat the young leaves you can eat the sweet potato tops you can eat it in stew in salad in stir fry it's really good for you high in vitamins and all the nutrients that your body needs this is very nutritious for you so it's a win-win you enjoy the root crust and you enjoy the leaves as well the whole plant is edible thanks for watching see you next time